with some hard boiled egg and some green onions and black pepper. Guys, we made it up to Maine. Uh, we're sleeping in the back of the truck tonight. I made like a little sleeping platform. If you're interested in like seeing how that how I made that, I'll leave the link for that video below. I'll only take you for a tour real quick. It's not like super fancy, obviously. So this is a ranch truck camper, basically. I put some LED lights on the side. I have a blanket and a sleeping pad underneath that. Sleeping bag and a five foot by five foot basically short bed truck and I have the windows open and I have a CO detector over here in case those people are caring that's my fly rod and that plastic tube right there and I have the lights wired but they're not like perfect yet so it's about 11 o'clock my plan is to get up at probably 5 30 to be on the water by like 6 or so and I just talked to some, talked to some guys they were they were here night fishing uh, and caught some brook trout and some other things so I'm excited for tomorrow. I, I was here like two years ago and caught a monster brook trout and a couple of salmon so and these are wild. These are not stock fish they're like native spawning landlocked salmon and brook trout. So super excited I'm gonna watch some Netflix and chill and see you guys in the morning. down here. There's probably people are already standing in, but there's a big rock at the head of it. Ooh, we just got slammed. Oh, that was a nice brookie. Well, I'm um, definitely a fish here. Still. Ah, here's a nice long run. Sure, there's somebody down here though. Oh, and there's not. I'm gonna start at the tail and work my way up. Walk through every spider web on the map. Oh, yeah, they're rising on the other side. It dries. That could change how I'm fishing this. Holy sh. That's a big salmon too. Not that big, but. So we had the same fish come up a couple of times and snub me with 5X. Probably the wrong fly. Now there is the biggest brookie I've ever seen. Down a ways here, I gotta be quiet. It's stealthy. I might put some, that big parachute Adams back on. These guys are gonna be so feisty about it. All right, there's lots of fishing, lots of fishing here guys. All right, wooly bugger it is. Going upstream first. Instant bite, instant. That was a big rookie. So many brook trout in here, it's unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. I'm not losing you this time. These brook trout fight the hardest 
of any brook trout I've ever caught. And they freak out. There's the brook trout guys. I'm not gonna harass them too much. Show them to the camera real quick. And off he goes. So this is just a purple mop fly with a little bit of a peacock curl, tungsten bead. Find that gold works a lot really good up here. And uh, New Hampshire and in Maine. That's a nicer one. I see your class. <laughs> yep, that one. Another one. GoPro just act is funky. I'd be overheating if I was to guess. Beautiful. Oh, I got a new tippet in my infamous volley bugger here, and I know there's a big brook trout in here. Oh, just got tagged. And so I can also just dredge it through there. Oh, he bit it. Gotta stay tight to it. There we go. Mm. Finally, one on the. On the woolly bugger. Yep, popped them right off. Nice fish. Just got smoked again. All right, kind of a semi midday update. It's probably like 11 o'clock and a bunch of tiny brook trout, not tiny brook trout, like just under 12 inch brook trout, but they are wild and native to here up in Maine. So these are not stocked. These are not messed with by fish and game at all here. They basically just do catch and release, barbless hooks, fly fishing only. So we're going to go back up and fish the other way. Hopefully people are out of like the good pool that I've never fished before. Um, if not, I'm going to sneak on the other side and fish the other side. So keep watching. That one. Easy, bud. Easy. Another one. So, great day on the water, folks. Uh, we, I don't know how many tr brook trout we caught. We had that one salmon that like jumped rapidly off. It is really hard to keep these fish kind of like pinned with barbless hooks, um, especially with the current in the pools. It'd be easy if it was just like open water or, you know, less pool style. Um, let me show you the back of the truck because I didn't show you that yet because it was dark. But basically I have two drawers. I have two drawers. I have the Blackstone here and I'll leave the link for everything that I have in the back of the truck here. As much as I can from Amazon. I know you guys want to like build these things yourselves and or build them in the back of your like SUVs and stuff. So Blackstone, I got uh, Jet Boil for making soup that I made yesterday. The uh, Eno hammock, an inverter, the hose, mosquito thing, Oris fly pack, my wading boots, which I need to put like a little plastic tote in here because it's kind of going to get everything wet. Some batteries, um, the LEDs that I use in there, I'll leave a link for that. And then the uh, Kelty sleeping bag, which it was 50 degrees last night and I stayed nice and toasty. It was pretty comfortable. I needed just a little more footage here, square footage uh, to put my feet here. Otherwise I slept perfectly in there and I'm five foot. 10 on a good day. 
thank you very much for watching. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, let me know uh, in the comments below and I'll, I love doing this. This is so much fun. I've been wanting to sleep in the back of the truck and go fishing forever. <laughs>